suddenly, I mean, this, this industry has such a surprise, uh, a habit of surprising you and shocking you, uh, and being, you know, frightfully inconvenient. Um, ten years on, we find ourselves in the midst of a recession. And we find ourselves in a UK film industry which is on its knees. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse, but particularly at the time that I was trying to get the funding together for this film, there were companies that existed the year before that suddenly didn't exist anymore. There were sources of finance that suddenly weren't there anymore. Um, so I knew it was either wait a long time, or we'd already waited a long time for this sequel. So, you know, I thought, do we, can we make this film for a smaller budget than I would like or it needs? Um, and because we shot in India, actually, that was the trick. It, the, the budget, when I budgeted out, if it had been shot in the UK, would have been three and a half million pounds at least. And closer to four. Because we shot in India, where it is much cheaper to shoot, we actually got a lot more bang for our buck, basically, and a lot more production value. So it has worked out, but it is amazing that we feel that it is the same, same budget as we had 10 years ago. And, and what do you think is the name of the, the third movie that you're going to make? Well, I think it might be East is West, but I can't guarantee you. But um, at the end of the day, I mean, it's Ayub's life is, and it's, you know, it's his, his script is the basis of, you know, the success of East of East and hopefully the success of West of West. Um, and I, I will always defer to him, but I'm sure it won't be North or South, <laughs> 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 <Not> anything. <laughs>